Hi guys, so welcome to the winter 2018 update of my succulent garden. Uh, I'm so sorry that I just now am uploading this. I didn't even know that I had it. I forgot that I had it, but um, I wanted to share with you because this is going to be part one of winter 2018 and then part two is going to be winter 2019. So that's going to be on another video. But I just wanted to show you this because I wanted you to see the progress, the progression of the plants and how they're growing in that short amount of time. So here we go. A one, two, three, four. everybody thank you for coming back um, today I'm going to talk about what it looks like out there in the garden in the cold weather we have been getting um, weather here in California Northern California it's a little bit cooler than Southern California and we've been getting especially in Napa Napa is a valley so um, if you can imagine all the cold air coming in you know after the rain I don't know I'm not a nerd um, like that with the weather but it, see, it just seems like Napa Valley is a little bit maybe four or five degrees cooler than everywhere else in the Bay Area and I think it's because of the valley it just like holds the cold in there but it has been so cold and in the rainy days uh, when we have rainy days it's always more rainy here in Napa Valley than anywhere else in the Bay Area. It's uh, where I used to live in Antioch, really, really hot. Um, it's more inland, but um, Napa Valley is, I think, closer to San Francisco and the Bay, you know, so the cold, there's more cold breezes or something. Anyway, um, and so the past couple of nights, we've been having really cold weather, like 35 degrees, 36 degrees. Well, the other day when, when I went outside, I saw that there was frost on the grass and ooh, that's kind of scary for my succulents. And I do have succulents in the front, but here's the thing. If your succulents are, um, buried in the ground, if they're um, in-ground succulents, not container succulents. They are more resilient to the cold weather than the container succulents because number one, it holds water. The contain, contained, the contained succulents hold more water in um, and it stays moist a little bit longer. So the roots get really cold because of the water and all that stuff, you know. So if there's like a really cold um surge um I, i'm not sure about the weather in napa because every time i look at the weather channel it says one thing but then it happened you know when i look outside in my uh thermometer it's a little bit colder than what they say so it, so to cut all the guesswork and all that stuff i just want to make sure that my succulents are protected so i have protected them and i put the I covered all of them with a frost cloth because the frost cloth will uh say that five times fast frost cloth frost cloth. Um, <laughs> okay so the frost cloth will keep the temperature 10 degrees higher than the actual temperature outside so if it's uh 36 degrees um outside or 35 degrees outside then under the the frost cloth would be 45 degrees normally uh so and also they're protected from like the wind and if there was a breeze or something that the cold breeze they would be protected you know can you if you could just imagine if you can just imagine yourself out there in that cold weather you know and you're filled with water i mean seriously you'll probably freeze so with that being said the front the front um this my succulents in the front yard i am not so concerned about because 
they have been there for a couple years now and they have been thriving so um, if they f if they shed a couple of leaves here and there I'm not really worried about it unless it just snows or the temperature goes down 10 degrees then I would be worried but it never happens like here in California hopefully it never does if there was a spark the only thing that I really am concerned about when there is a uh, hail because hail will pit you know the the soft succulents and not too worried about the cacti and all that stuff but the soft succulents it really i really need to be out there like running out there and covering them up in case of hail so i always want to watch out for that um it not, it doesn't happen very often but when it does it probably will happen in the springtime so that being said, again, um, in the springtime, when it, around February, maybe mid-February, I would start um, cleaning up the garden, just cleaning it up, up, up from all the detritus that's been um, blowing into my yard lately, from trees from next door, from this big tree in front of our yard, this pine tree. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a pine tree right there next to that truck. And... Uh, so it has like all these dead leaves that just falls and you know I'm going to redo the front some of the front where the sprinklers don't really touch don't really touch some of the part some parts of the yard where it doesn't really get wet because I don't want my plants to die but it will be it will be better for me because if my plants are planted under the ground, it would be better because then, you know, the roots, the roots will just spread out and it has a lot of room to spread out. And also, for some reason, and this is sci getting more scientific, um, when the plants are in ground, they are just more protective from the frost above. So that's going to help some of my plants and i'm all it's also going to propagate a lot more so that's why um getting to the next part of this where i would like to invite you guys to look at the garden check out the plants and see which ones um, you would probably be interested in some of my plants are kind of hard to find one um yeah this is what i'm i'm doing it for i'm gonna start um getting some income <laughs> coming in uh because that's what i planned this all for and i think 2019 is going to give me a little bit more of a taste of what it would have what i would have to um what my goals are for my plants and what i did all this for uh, number one i'm doing this for you i'm I'm learning everything that I can to figure out how, um, you know, this plant stuff, this succulent world is and uh, sharing that with you guys. But also, um, I have been in a lot of different places where the succulents are not all the same. I mean, if you figure there's some that comes from Europe, there's some that comes from Africa, there are some that come from Mexico. I mean, just different places where the indigenous places where these plants come from. And they're all different. They, they all act differently. Um, there are some that are more resilient to cold weather and some are more resilient to hot weather. So or more rain even um yeah i noticed that they love rain i don't know why people are saying oh you know um they don't want their feet wet i think it's when you really water it from the faucet of this i don't know but they just love the rain i feel like they just love the rain as long as it you don't go overboard with it like when it rains four days in a row i let them get rained on one day like really soak the when I, when it's just a hundred percent on weather channel i really get them soaked and then i put them away or cover them the next day because i just want them to get the benefit of the rain water which also by the way here's a really good tip if you put some i don't know what the measurement is but if you put some hydrogen peroxide in your in your uh 
garden your watering can uh, I put one cap full for like maybe a five gallon or a one gallon um, but I put one cap full of um, hydrogen peroxide it acts like the rainwater it has the same properties as rainwater that's why they like they like to perk up um, when you put hydrogen peroxide not too much just one also, the, if you put um, a little bit of hydrogen peroxide in your water, it's also a um, antibacterial um, for whatever is in the water that's um, maybe eggs or something. It'll kill that, and then you know it'll give the good water for your for your plants. So there we go. In the in the winter, there are plants that like the little tiny plants, the baby ones. Um, I think they go into like they're like babies they just like oh it's cold so <laughs> you know so they don't really grow but then the springtime comes around if they start growing they start growing they start growing um, I found out that if you propagate during the fall it may not be the best time but if you propagate during the beginning of the spring and then you you shelter them from the heat and the sun in the summertime by the time fall comes around and it's their growing season they just like you know so that's why the the little part in the in my backyard the one that shady the shady part of my backyard where I just throw all the little um, leaves in there and they just start growing it's like so full now um, there's a little bit of weeds there, but um, not really that much. But I mean, like the ghost plants and the um, the Paraguayans, uh, the uh, Vera, he Vera Higgins, uh, some of the Echeverias, I just throw them all in there. And for some reason, because it's a shady area and it's um, it's a it's it's shady, it, it but it get it does get a little bit of sun in the afternoon. Um, and it's you know there's an eave there's a covering on top of it so that it's pretty sheltered and that little microclimate they just love it they I don't know how that happens but it does happen it's really bright though during the 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 sunny days it's really bright in that area but it doesn't ever get direct sun it, even in the afternoon it's like filtered light so that's I, <laughs> you know it's just really a matter of um, trial and error when it comes to plants um, if you see that you're like I have an Echeveria in the back there I'm definitely moving that to the side because obviously it doesn't like where it is um, it's burning the leaves are burning even though it the, the leaves are really tough um, I forget the name of it um, Echeveria I'll show it to you. I'll I'll put it here somewhere. Uh, but the the blue sky, that's what it is. It's blue sky. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. And I couldn't wait until they really get big. Uh, but I think that where it's at right now, it's not liking it. Not liking it because it's been there since spring last year. Yeah, spring last year. And so far, it hasn't grown. Um, it has been... Um, fighting this this fall winter um, but I don't know if it's the the soil that I that I have it in I don't think so um, but maybe it's the heat or the Sun because it does get a lot of Sun at where it's at right now so I'm going to move that over to the side yard here um, just to see what it what it does but I think it's gonna like it there either that or over there over there where there's uh, the shade of the shed is um, I can move it somewhere there because you know what my dick's pink over there is so loving it it's got like two um, rosettes now when it only had one before so I'm thinking that it likes it there too so that's all covered up right now and uh, hopefully by February um, it'll be it'll be you know time for me to reposition everything maybe plant um, some of the baby teenagers um, all that stuff underground just let them grow you know because the front yard here um, there's some sections over here where it's not getting a lot of water but I can you know kind of 
I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. So you, 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 my friends, you, my friends, you got to keep tuned, keep in tune. So I still have a lot more coming, th coming because my, because some of my plants or most of my plants are kind of self-reliant right now. Uh, and all I have to do is just really water them, fertilize them every now and then. I don't really want to add any more uh, different plants because I do have a lot of species in there. I think I have a, at least 250. Why would I even, if I had like a farm, I probably would, but you guys need to buy them so I can buy more <laughs> and then you can buy that and then it goes on and on and on and life would be great, right? So if you're interested in that, I'm going to put some stuff at the end of the, the videos so you get the, what you're here, what you came here for first, you get the succulent stuff and then at the end I'll maybe give you some a montage of what I'm doing yeah so if you're interested in that I also have an Instagram uh, account or yeah that my Instagram account you can look there um, there's a lot of I'm gonna have th this is Instagram is where I usually post um, daily pictures that I don't that you guys don't get to see on YouTube so if you um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see like what how my garden is doing now, and like little bits and pieces of the plants and stuff that's growing. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much. Have a happy new year, guys. You are loved because I love you. Bye. Hi guys, so it's that time again. We're going to go through all the plants in winter time. So these have gotten so much bigger. Like all of these plants have gotten so much thicker and just robust and just loving this cold weather. Mind you, last night, it was 35 degrees and there was frost in the morning when we woke up. So uh, I'm not going to take a chance by not covering them tonight because it might be colder and the more exposed they are to the cold weather, uh, it might start dying. <laughs> uh, running out of battery right now, so. Let's start off here in the baby section this is the baby section and not very much growth there I think uh, the younger they are the more they have a hard time growing in the cold weather but the ones that are more mature are the ones that are able to multiply and propagate big time except for that one over there I think that's a ghost plant right there and we have more down here let's check this out Lilacinas are doing great not very much growth there but okay doing great so um, I came out this morning and I was going to water these plants because we haven't had any rain for quite some time, maybe two weeks, but I find that they're still wet. So some of these plants I did not water, just the ones that are really, really dry. And that's a good rule of thumb for winter because uh, they need less water in the winter even though it's their growth spurt but they don't need again again they're succulents so they don't really need to be wet all the time these guys right here my calanchoe is just growing like a weed so if anybody wants a cutting of this um, let me know let me give you my email address and send me a I might put the ooh look at this one this is the this is it right here this is look it's not cool that's the flower I didn't even know that it flowered 
I mean, I'm sure every everything flowers, but look at the flower on this one. It's weird, weird looking. Um, so I'm going to have a list on the description um, what's available, and you can let me know if you would like to purchase anything. The, these guys are ready to purchase. These are um, the Staphyloformis last uh, posting, last video. That was it and maybe this one right here because it's really getting big just let me know which cuttings you would like or which um rosette and the in the case of echeverius superbum it's really like very sturdy i think i need to repot this i'm not sure or just maybe add some soil in there because it looks like it's depleted a little bit. And the Hernandez eye right here is also pretty progressive. And all of these here are all for sale. So we've got the this Vera Higgins right here. We've got the jade plant. Oh no, this is the elephant bush right here. The uh, Glauca, Echeveria Glauca. The Ptolemonensis. Again, the Kalanchoe right here. These are really progressive. Um, and I usually give, whoever buys for me, I give like an extra plant. You know, something that that's progressive in my garden. I just like throw it in there. Like, look at this one. This is that um, Fachenkwe, I think. Yeah, so these are all for sale. Let me know. Um, let's go over here. These guys are... Not sure. This is the ones I need to pay attention next because um, I believe that some of these are dry that one I re set it up there on the wall because it was trying to reach over to the left side for the the um, the Sun yeah look at the, the Mexican snowball is just snowballing Wow at that guy and I put some over there uh, under the eaves in the front because they are oh look at this one's really growing too um, because I have the area there that is covered so it would be easier oh and these guys right here this is all also if you want a cutting of this one for sale look at the pretty flowers that it's pushing out then i have the ice plant over there that's growing and crawling then the ghost plant the topsy-turvy is also maybe not so much this one but i think the one down the road here oh and look at this fire and ice or is it the dick the dick's pink i think this is the dick's pink but that's loving it where it's at right now um mm -hmm. mm. and the ioniums are just huge 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 yeah this is i th i think this is so pretty right here i wish it had more and when it does it would also be for sale this is one of the ones that is really rare that i got at the the society C cacti and succulent society look how pretty that is and this is the cedaveria latizia it's really nice beautiful plant look at that This is also going to be available right here. I don't know what this is called. Maybe you guys can tell me what it is. Uh, let's see. 
anymore. Oh my goodness, look at my Opalina. This Opalina is just so gorgeous. Look at that. Let's go take a picture. Um, what I'm gonna do is, before it starts to rain again, I'm going to spray all of this with this new um, insecticide that I got. I forget the name of it, but um, I called the uh, company and there uh, they gave me advice on which one to use and this is specially for um, succulents and um, citrus citrus trees uh, for some reason they're one and the same like um, the fertilizer requirements are sort of the same and it's Rose, Rosa. There we go. And the Misty Lilac. This was like really struggling a lot in the summertime. But obviously it really likes this weather. It's their growing season. Yeah. This uh <laughs> oh, I forget which one that is. Set a very uh set a very hybrid goodness. I don't know. Forget that one. And these guys right here, the fuzzy, the fuzzy section right here is really starting to come alive and starting to propagate um, a lot. Look at this one. Oh my goodness, this right here, the Adolphi. This like a lot. And this one changed color. The Colorado. got the this is the hmm it's the blue giant right there is growing too this is our fire storm what the, is the name of this guy right here Holy gate. Opalina, and this is the blue hazel, the pack of area. 
blue hazel then oh my goodness these um, ghost plants ghost plants are also available because I have so many so much of it um, look at all that it started with just this one now it's just like patchy patch Who's that troll? No dislike, just like subscribe!